Okay, this will be an easy video here. I wanted to show you how to um, edit form content since you have a few forms on the site. Couldn't find a Squarespace video on it, so hopefully this will be informative and useful. Um, so on your Contact Us, um, you have a form at the bottom. And this one is, I positioned this specifically for this page. If you ever wanted to find this form, um, this may be confusing, but um, there is a form position, position, general contact form position. I, you shouldn't ever have to go there, but this is how you get to the form configuration. Well, that's right. You will have to go there because you do need to um, edit some of these configuration areas on the, this form. Uh, let's see if you can get to that configuration here on the page. So we're back on your main contact page. And if we go to structure edit, then um, yeah, it doesn't come. In. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, so when you mouse over it, we'll, we'll see configure here. And this is how you kind of work on that data collection and all that stuff. Um, since this is still a, um, a trial site, um, we'll have to, you'll have to do the upgrade thing on that. I'll send you some information on that as well. Um, but what this means is you won't be able to collect data at this point because it is a trial site. That's what this warning is here. Um, but by default, um, it'll save to a spreadsheet and that's in website management, data, media, file storage. Da, 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 da. So there's going to be this, um, contact form in your file storage. So that's the first thing. Let me go show you where that is. So under website management, file storage, captured data, and it'll it'll be right here. Um, there'll be three spreadsheets actually there. Uh, one for each of those forms. Uh, the first form being your general info, the other one request a quote, and the uh, last one would be join our team. So let me walk through what I just posted on Basecamp just to explain some things. So um, editing form content, it's really very, very simple. And it's actually one of the most fun things to do on Squarespace. <laughs> uh, but right now we have your name. And if we go ahead and we could add um, like, uh, let's say phone number or something like that. So we'd say create field and it automatically creates the field. And then here we can go ahead and say uh, phone numbers. So we just need to label each field. And we could say required field in this case and say save. And then you basically just build out the form exactly how you want it. Um, if you want to move things around, you basically just drag and drop where you want things. Um, you can also add uh, like intro information. You can add paragraph text up there. Section break is usually a good way to add like an intro. Um, so if you say, or title text, either one, but section break will actually put a line, which is kind of nice. So if you say section break, create field, then you can say, um, I don't know, please submit below, blah, blah. blah. So it's more in instructional text and you can see it's kind of small. Um, another line of text here. It's also there. Save. And then you can drag that. So, so if you put this to the top, that's usually kind of a nicer way because then, then you have this kind of built in separator. Um, you can also do the same thing kind of below or, you know, or, um, you know, if, if you're wanting to separate things and have a little comment about now, tell us about your blank, then you can, that's kind of what you can do. Um, so that's all there is to that really. Um, and those are all editable. So I just typed that stuff there. So you can go to content at this point, click that, and then you can change it. You can delete it. You can change whatever text you want there. You can also put HTML here. If, if you want, if you know HTML, you can wrap it with like bold or, uh, or strong to make it bold. You can do things like that. Um, but you can kind of let the formatting go really in this case, just letting you know. All right. And then if we hop over to request a quote, then this is going to be exactly the same way. Um, you'd edit everything here and your, 
um, form information. It, it's up here on this configure this page. So there's the configuration info. Um, and you, you can collect this. This is the same on all files. So you can collect via spreadsheet, which I showed you where that's going to be located. And again, it's, you know, listed here in this path. And then you can also collect entries via email. And we're probably going to get an, a warning because we're not. Um, it is a trial site, basically. Um, so uh, with with that, you can also do confirmation emails. Um, which you could send back, you know, th thank you for your interest. We will get back with you as soon as possible. Those, those kind of things. So you can do that on an email. You cannot send HTML on that email. So it'll just be kind of just text only that'll send out. So you can't be too um, fancy on that. So it's not like a not like a marketing campaign. But anyway, um, that's how that works. And then I'm going to hit cancel here and we're going to hop over to that quote request uh, the uh, employment one on my uh, on my post. I mentioned that um, that you'll be able to submit um, content on your confirmation and to make it less confusing. I'll show you how to do that. So let's say that we have this filled out. We want to collect a resume on our on our site. What we can do is go to this, configure this page, and actually I'll just go ahead and grab exactly what I typed. Um, checkbox, da, da, da. here it is, thank you for filling out. So if we said, I'll, I'll grab that content. And then um, what we do is we scroll down to the, your confirmation message. So what'll happen, as we could put that in here, thanks for filling out the form. Please submit your CV to the following email address, blah, blah. So there you go. Um, now, if I say, I guess we don't want to do email at this point. So I'll say save configuration preview. Um, we might have to log out to do this. And join our team. Obviously, you'd want more information than this. Um, oh yeah, it's a trial account. Um, so basically the way it'll work is it'll take them to the next page. And then, um, on that page, you would basically just, just see that information only. So, um, that's going to be pretty, pretty basic. Um, that's going to be your easiest way. The other way is of course, to add a third party form, or, uh, if you want to add that other module with the download, let's see if it's even available here. Uh -huh. I'll make another hidden section down here. That's fine. And I'm going to see if I can add a particular page, which allows users to download files, which you can have a series of documents. There it is, Dropbox. So select configure, and you can you can create a directory where you want those to go. Um, but basically, uh, we could just call it CV or something like that. Description. So then create page. Oh, I guess we have to select storage. And we want to hide that section so that it's not part of the navigation, but there we go. So, um, Oops. There we go. That's this one here. And then enable that. So now if someone goes to um, your website forward slash CV, it'll say, you know, it'll have that information. It'll be like a form and they'll be able to do that. Um, I'll go ahead and keep this on here. That way, you know, if you want to use it in the future, that's fine. Create directory. Um, CV collection. And so I just created a directory called CV collection. I'm going to go back to this page, configure this page. Maybe instead of CV, I'm going to call it like file upload. Okay. 
There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and select that CV collection directory. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, it's not found because I'm not on that page. So there we go. So now, if anyone's logged out, and you submit that form, and then you have the link that would go to file, upload, then that's basically how it would work. And then once once they would um, fill out that information and submit it, you know, if they upload a resume, then it would go to the CV collection directory right here. So um, hopefully that makes a lot of sense, and um, I guess let me know. Thanks.